I'm going to demonstrate that um, chemicals in different forms can be dangerous. The other day I did this experiment where I took some alcohol, poured it in a beaker, and asked you guys what would happen if I lit it. And you guys, some of you predicted that it would explode. In fact, it didn't. It simply burned. Like that. Okay. And it burns in a controlled way because it gets very little oxygen on the surface. Although it did pop initially because of the fumes. So I'm going to put it out. What chemical just formed on the side there? H2O. Water. Good. And carbon dioxide inside. Now, in its liquid form, alcohol burns fairly quickly. It's very flammable. But it's not explosive in its liquid form because it's just only getting oxygen on the top. So what I'm going to do now is pour a little tiny bit in here. Didn't even use it all. And I'm going to swish it around really good so that it's coating the entire surface. Now it has a lot of oxygen on its surface. And now that same chemical that burned in a controlled way in its liquid form, once it's in a vapor form with lots of oxygen, does this. I can't, there's no oxygen in here. Can you do it? As you can see how how big that explosion is. Fortunately it's in a controlled area. One time it blew a ceiling tile out of the ceiling from the forest. Okay. And it goes that fast. All that alcohol is burned. I didn't even use all the alcohol that was in there. I only used about two thirds of it. And then I'm going to set up a platform. Now I could drop a match in there, that's what I did in my other class, but this time I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to line this with aluminum foil because it's going to create quite a bit of heat. And I want to minimize that somewhat. I'm going to put a couple layers of aluminum foil in there. In the last class, I just dropped a match in there to show them what happens when those vapors catch on fire. But in this class, what I'm going to do is take some tape, I think, there we go, and I'm going to set this right here, I'm going to take a wooden splint and tape it to the end of my meter stick so that I can light this from a distance, move this stuff out of the way, and this out of the way, and this out of the way. And this time when I drop the match in, I'm going to have it upside down. And you're going to see the force of this go out the bottom of this container. So if you're videotaping, now is a good time to do it. It's vaporized in there, it's no longer in liquid form, so it has plenty of oxygen. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whoa! 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 